<laughs> Hi, everybody. You're watching Chop on This with Kim Lai, and I have my special guest with me tonight. This is Susan, and she, what, what nationality are you? Lebanese and Lebanese. I am from Lebanese. Lebanon. Lebanon. You sound like me. I'm from Lebanon. <laughs> She's from Lebanon. I'm going to start saying that. She's from Lebanon, and she, you guys, she makes amazing Mediterranean dishes. I know because she's always bringing them over to my house. So um, I asked her to come over tonight and show me and show you guys at home how to make baba ganoush and jeji. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> What's up, my Christy Hang? Um, now, for you guys, um, if you're um, not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because if you subscribe, then you can actually chat with us while we're doing the show. And make sure just put at post and then the question. That way it'll come up all along the bottom. I felt like this this whole two minutes was a disclaimer and I should have put like 90 miles a minute. Okay. <laughs> Susan's like, I don't know what's going on. Kim, Kim Ali is so weird. <laughs> okay, first, we have to loosen up a little bit. I'm going to move my mouse. Bam. And I'm back. And you have to toast with me. Okay. <laughs> so cheers to a really good show that we're going to have tonight. Mm -hmm. And to your uh, awesomeness and your amazing cooking skills. Thank you. Okay, you have to drink. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know I was going to actually have to drink. Okay. So Susan, thank you guys so much. Oh, and see, so while she's showing us what to do, I can actually watch. Um, um, watch the chat roll. Christy says hello to you. Hello, Christy. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, uh, Susan, go ahead and tell us. Okay, first, you guys, what is baba ganoush? Okay, baba ganoush is a Mediterranean uh, appetizer made with uh, eggplant, tahini, yogurt, lemon juice, garlic, salt. And then now I have to prepare and you will see how it's going to be mixed. Now I have to start <laughs> from the pita bread. Okay, but wait, Susan, what does baba ganoush mean? Mean. Baba ganoush, baba means papa. <laughs> uh, ganoush means a spoiled. Spoiled papa. A spoiled papa. papa. A spoiled. So that's like, what's that song? I'm a big dead. Okay, I forgot the name of the song. Okay, anyways, I thought that was funny. Baba Ganesh, Papa, 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 Spoiled Papa, Papa. I mean, Father. Oh, now it has a whole different father. meaning. Yeah, different meaning. Okay. Ganesh means uh, spoiled. Spoiled Papa. Arabic. Spoiled Father. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, so, now yes. I have to. Start from the pita bread. Okay. I have to cut and put the, in the oven. Okay. So you guys, we have we turned the oven on to 350 already, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna give you a knife. You're gonna cut, cut right? Like strips, you said. Yes. Or the uh, oh, scissors. Scissors with the scissors. And I'm gonna show them what you cut. You guys, this is just right. What? Look at it's just pita bread. Super king, 69 cents. <laughs> um, this is Armenian. Armenian bread, right? Mediterranean, yes. Mediterranean bread. But you guys, you know those pita chips like that you buy in the bags or that you buy in the containers? They're, yes. like, they're like expensive. So you can just buy the pita bread yourself and then... And then cut this shape, like pizza slash shape. Yeah. And then easy way. Some people, they put uh, olive oil and then oregano. You want some olive oil and oregano? No, I okay. don't need it today because I have to eat uh, with baba ganoush. Christy, this is not alcoholic. Susan doesn't drink. <laughs> that could have been true. Okay. Okay, the easy way. Yep. Open the bread, okay, like this. Oh, open like this. Oh my god, it sounds Put like she's together. Ripping paper, and then like this. It's very easy. Wow, very fast. 
<laughs> You're speedy. That's good. I think this is enough for us today. I think that's enough too. <laughs> okay. Now so, I have to put in the oven with 350 yep. Fahrenheit. Yeah. Oh, for how long? Uh, until you get the uh, brown. Okay, so what, maybe 10 minutes? Maybe. Okay, 10 yes. minutes. All right. Okay, so what is next, Miss Susan? Next, I have to start with the eggplant. I need to get a uh, fork. Four. I'm your sous chef, so you just tell me what you need, and oh, I am okay. at your, how do you say? That, no, I'm at your command. I'm at your something like that. I forgot what it's called. Okay, the eggplant, you have to buy this kind of eggplant to make a baba ganoush. First, you have to do with the fork, I can call. <laughs> like this, different places. So, I didn't realize, you guys, um, Susan took me to the Mediterranean market a few weeks ago. It's called Olive, and it's a really popular market. It's kind of like what Trader Joe's is. But to Mediterranean people, Mediterranean, Mediterranean and Armenian, and Armenian, and so there's so many different. Um, here I, I get a break. Well, so many different types of eggplant, and so this one, but this was called something, right? Because there's those long, there's the long no, ones. Long, uh, just you barbecue and uh, you cut and eat with the barbecue, with the meat, with the chicken, with the beef, with the mm -hmm. steak. But this one, the uh, for cooking. Uh, all eggplant, all kinds of eggplant you can cook, but this one you can make the baba ganoush. Baba ganoush, big papa. Or, oh no, a spoiled spoil papa. papa. <laughs> okay, so now we're taking, oh I'm sorry, aluminum foil. You're very self-sufficient. I was gonna like serve you. you do it. You oh. put foil okay. and the uh, eggplant. And then just wrap it. That's it? Yes. Okay. And then this one you have to put on a stove oh. or on the grill. Okay. Oh, so like I showed them. It'll just be it'll sit right here, you guys. It'll just sit on top of the stove like that. Yes. And then what is the temperature? Uh medium. Okay. Oh, you want to do that? Yes. Okay. Oh, let's do a smaller. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Right here. Okay, ready? Like that? Yes. Okay, so you guys, it is sitting, you know how you take tortillas and you put them right on the stove top or like bell peppers or peppers and you uh -huh. just roast them? That's exactly what you're doing with the eggplant, except it's in the aluminum foil. Yes. Right? Yes. Hi, Susan. Hi. <laughs> uh, why I put the eggplant in the, on the stove? No, under uh, under stove oh, yeah. or under grill instead of baking it in, right? instead of put in the oven because when you put on the uh, stove or a uh, grill it uh, gives you more flavor it's uh, gonna come up like this oh my gosh oh my gosh it's gonna come like this <laughs> and you put wow. on the steamer. The black water, because eggplant has black water, is go all down. When it goes down and come full, you have to start peeling. Oh, wow. Do you want me to, can I move this so they can see? Yes. Okay. Peel it like mm -hmm. this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how easy the skin. It just literally comes right off. And uh, how do you know it's uh, your eggplant is cooked? When you turn it around, uh, you feel that it come a uh, soft, tender. That time you you know it's eggplant, it's uh, cooked. How long does it usually take? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. If you guys have any questions for Susan, go ahead and we have feel free. Feel free. <laughs> God, I just love having you here. Thank you, Emily. Emily. Kimalay. Kimalay. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> um, can you eat the skin or no? No. Okay, you guys, this beautiful purple eggplant just now looks like a shriveled up raisin, but times 5,000. Oh, the seeds. Oh my gosh. Okay, look, 
Here, I have to show them. Look at like this. Perfect. Look at that. Sometimes guys. see it's it's, uh, it's hard. Uh, so take that off. But this one it's okay. Yeah. You can put because the eggplant it's uh, uh, it's uh, has uh, more uh, more uh, not the sweet. Uh, uh, what would I don't I don't know what you're bitter. Is it for bitter? Yeah. So the opposite of sweet? Yes. I mean, is that what you're... Yes. So I cut the head. Oh, cut that off. Yeah. Okay. And then now I have to put bowl in the bowl. Okay. And then do you chop and it? And then with the fork. Okay. You do like this. I can put in the food processor, but it's come creamy. I don't like creamy. But some people, they want creamy. You can pull it. But with the fork, when you mix it, this one, uh, eggplant, mm -hmm. baba ganoush, it come, uh, you feel like you are eating eggplant, not creamy that's, things. That's why I wondered, like, because the, the baba ganoush that you brought over last week, there were, like, chunks of eggplant in it. I could still see the eggplant. Yes. So I didn't know that you mashed it with a fork. Yes. See? Mm -hmm. If you mix with the food nice. processor, yeah, it comes like a hummus. Oh, hummus. Is it hummus? Hummus. Hummus. Sister, Not the hummus. Brother. It's hummus. 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 Okay. Okay. Now what? Now, I have to put mm -hmm. a little bit of garlic. A little bit garlic. Okay. What is that? That's a teaspoon. So that's teaspoon. like two or three cloves. Two or three cloves that are mashed up. This is, I got this minced garlic. It's, it's a huge container of garlic that's already minced. Just because I was using it so much, it makes it so much easier. Salt. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to oh, I will do it. You just tell me whatever you want done. Okay. Christy, how are you? Ah, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot to, I was going to remind you. Hmm. I always forget. Like when people say, remind me to remind you to remind, it's like, and then I want to remember so bad. And then, well, yeah. Okay, so do you need a half of a lemon or what do you need? No, one. One whole lemon. Yeah. All right, you guys, here's a little trick. You know when you're slicing up a lemon? <laughs> you make me smile. When you're slicing up a lemon, you know, most of the times it seems like natural to take the lemon and put it in like this. And actually, Adam is back. You're going to turn it over and you're actually going to get more juice by turning it over. Okay, here we go. Lime, the juice of a lime. Look at all that juice, you guys. Very juicy. Limes right now, I feel like I should be doing a show on where all the sales are because limes are 15 for 99 cents at Super Game. <laughs> and the eggplants are 79 cents each, which is pretty amazing. Like almost uh, less than $5 you'll spend. This is only one eggplant. Mm. If you do a big uh, plate, you buy uh, two or three eggplants, you make all together. Now I have to put uh, tahini, tahini, sesame. Mm -hmm. um, tahini is just roasted sesame seeds, and you can get this at any, I got this at any Mediterranean, yeah, Mediterranean, Mediterranean market. Store. Mm -hmm. market. But not like Ralph's. No. Because, I mean, I saw some, some market, that they have, but uh, if you're going to spend uh, less money, but you should buy from uh, Armenian or Armenian groceries right? or market, yes. That's like trying to buy Asian food and you go down the aisle like at Target. It's like it's one, it's this big and it's so limited. So if you're going to buy Asian food, go to the Asian market. If you're going to buy Mediterranean food, Lebanese food, Armenian food. She actually showed me a map because I was confused of where Lebanon was. And so we actually had a little geography, geographic geography class. Oh my gosh, the other night. Okay, so <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> I tend to get off track. Um, okay, so you guys went and got 
This is, Ar is this Armenian? Yeah, it's Armenian, Armenian but the uh, Armenian market yogurt. also, they have uh, plain yogurt. But I got this at the Armenian market. <laughs> okay, one a spoon. Mm -hmm. I put, wait, why are you putting yogurt? Why? Yeah, because eggplant. Because eggplant, uh, eggplant has a dark color. I have to make little bit bright. I have to give. Really? Uh, yes. Mm. That's the pita chips. While you're doing, you keep talking, doing that, and I'm gonna check on the pita chips. Oh, okay. I am putting the yogurt. Only one a spoon, not too much. Okay. And plain then yogurt. mix plain yogurt, Ooh. and then mix it. Very nice. Crisp. Chris, look. You hear the crunch? <laughs> we have homemade pita chips. Guy, I'm showing with us. Yes. Have a cup of wine <gasps> and uh, appetizer, Mediterranean. So it's done. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Wait, okay. So look, you guys, I want to put, ah, there you go. See? Eggplant. Okay, what's it? eggplant? The yogurt, the yogurt, tahini, tahini uh, garlic, and salt, and lemon juice. I must taste. Here. Taste your masterpiece, right? Damn. Why is your food so damn good? Because I am good. But it's so much better when someone else makes it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now, Susan, you, oh, don't put my spoon back in there. You guys, oh, let me do this first. Hold on. I want to get a, I want to show them how to plate it. Yes. Can I make it pretty on a plate? Uh, we have another recipe, but you guys, we always remember, we always go through how to make the dish, and then we're going to plate it, because plating is just as important because you eat with your eyes. See what you eat with your eyes, you know what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and plate it, and then we'll start the second recipe. Yes. Okay, pretty lady. Get her fancy plates. So I told her, I said, do you want to use some of my, um, I have some plates, you know, for that we can plate on, and she's going to use her fancy stuff. Ooh, shiny. You oh. have, uh, yes, ma'am. You tell me what you need. Spatula? Spatula? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a, yes. Like this kind of spatula? Yes. Yes. And then, of course, you guys will plate this up. I am going to take a picture of it, and then I'll um, put it onto my NAM page so you can see what the final product looks, and just in case you can't really get the whole just of it right here. Mm. Hey. So pretty. <coughs> They're so fancy there. Do you Medi can I have a spoon? A spoon? Yes, a spoon. of course. Just a regular spoon? Yes. First, you make a flat. Oh. And then with the spoon, back a spoon, you do like this. Now, I'm going to give the makeup. I'm <laughs> going to put olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, you guys. Olive oil, olive oil is for... Uh, cooking and then extra virgin oil. The olive oil holds the uh, the what you call like in the well. In, yeah. So she created like this well. Oh here, I'll, let me put it a little bit closer. That way they can like yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now yes. Uh, you can put one a slice uh, tomato, chopped tomato, or pomegranate. The Ooh. sour. You put middle like this. When you go Mediterranean oh restaurant, gosh. you see the pomegranate season. They put, they use this one, mm -hmm. or you can put a slice of a tomato, just chop it a square, square, small pieces. That's it. But it's so much different flavor, right? Because yes. tomato is going to be more of a tart flavor. This pomegranate is going to be a sweet flavor. I love them. or sour. Either what? It's like it has it has a it's like it's sour at the beginning and then it's sweet as you bite it. Fresh mint for decoration. Thanks for bringing the pomegranates. <laughs> Are you having fun? Very fun. That looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, do you put pita chips around it? Yes. Okay. Now. Now. 
Oh, so you guys, that didn't take very long to make it all, and it's healthy, it's pretty, it's ethnic. <laughs> That looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Voila. You guys, okay, I gotta take a picture of that. You gotta put that down. And I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a picture right here real quick because it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Blue shot. Susan, it's beautiful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I will move this to the side, and then we will get ready for our next dish. Oh, Susan, you need this? No. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so the next dish that you're going to show us, you want me to take those dirty dishes? Yes. The next dish that you're going to show us how to make is called jajit. Yeah, okay. This is one of my favorites. Now, you guys, it has um, cook. Cucumber. I love how she says cucumber. I say cucumber and she says cucumber. I love it. So it has cucumber and um, tell me what it has in it. Uh, cucumber, mm -hmm. yogurt, uh, garlic, uh -huh. salt, uh -huh. and uh, dry mint. Dry mint. Dry mint. Okay, so why are you going to use dry mint instead of, well, we have fresh mint, so why don't you use fresh mint? Why dry mint? Uh, Dry mint has more flavor when you eat with the food. It gives you more flavor. You can put the, in the soup also. Depends what kind of soup you are making. Okay. But uh, fresh mint, you can eat just like that. Or you can put in the tabbouleh. If you make tabbouleh, next time I'm going to do tabbouleh. Yeah. It's very easy, delicious, and healthy. A lot of people love tabbouleh. But now, today, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to put dry mint. dry mint. This is the dry oh. mint. This is the dry mint. And uh, if you purchase or you have a small garden and you have uh, mint, friend, just take it and open it. Don't wash it because when you wash, it comes dark colors. Oh, wow. You cannot use it. Okay. It has to be just... Uh, Seal it like this, put on the tray, <laughs> let them dry. Uh, put the uh, uh, paper towel on the top, put this one, uh -huh. it's dry. Two, three days, not long. And then do mm -hmm. like this, it's ready. And then this is what you get. This is. Maybe this this from, is fresh. You can buy it too, but this is fresh. Yes. So, so now I have to cut the cucumber. I can cut. Okay. I can cut while you chop. Okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. Or we can both cut. That's okay. Okay. I need bowl. A bowl. To mix. Uh, bowl. Bowl. You got it. You got it, lady. A bowl. Yes, I know. Okay. <sighs> Is everyone having a good time? Are you guys enjoying this? these Mediterranean recipes? I think they're delicious. Thank you so much for all the shooting. Thumbs up. Um, I think these recipes are just absolutely delicious, and they're so stinky and healthy, and the ingredients are so simple, so fresh, you know? Uh, cucumber, don't peel it. Some people, they peel their skin, but don't peel it. Uh, vitamins, all in the skin. In the skin. These are the Persian cucumbers, so they're small. These are teeny weenies. <laughs> and you cut, you make a four piece, four like this. This one is not, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> like this, you make. Oh, wow, then, you're really good with that knife. And then you put all together. Okay. I was like eating the Persian cucumbers more, um, more so than the regular big, what they're, how, they're called house cucumbers. Um, just because, like, you can wash them, put them in your fridge, and they literally make the perfect snack. You just grab it. Especially with go. the cheese. Grab it and go. That's it. Feta cheese, pita and bread, I and cucumber. Make a sandwich. There's another Mediterranean recipe for you. Look at this. You guys are getting tips like crazy. Oh, yum. 
Okay, so this is the first time I've like literally have not chopped anything. <laughs> You're so fast. Yeah, it's my job. You're great. You should come back every week. If they like me, why not? <laughs> I think we should have once a month. We should have Mediterranean Day with Susan and learn all of your amazing recipes. And so many people are, you know, like you hear about people eating all natural, the Mediterranean diet. You know what I mean? Guess what we're eating tonight? This. I feel like we should be playing some um, Armenian music. Yeah? Yes. She's now con concentrating. I'm going to put garlic. Okay. Uh, garlic is optional. If you want, you can put. If not, put it. But, but it's good to put it. It gives more flavor. Yes. And then salt, little bit salt. Mm -hmm. So optional again. You can put, mm -hmm. but if you put it, it's more tasty. You see salt, you guys. Do not use the regular table salt. This is um, kosher sea salt. Now I'm going to put yogurt. Why? Oh, this is what's going to make the cream? Yes. Okay. Can I have extra spoon? Yes. You can have whatever you want. Now I'm going to mix it. Okay. Do you want a bigger bowl? No, that's okay. okay. And I'm gonna put the dry mint like this. Oh wow. Let me, I'm gonna taste this, okay? If it's you so have strong. Yeah, that's what gives uh, you more flavor. I know when I was um, researching um, herbs. Like sometimes, you guys, it's better to use the dry herb instead of the fresh herb because it's actually a stronger flavor. But just look it up, um, you know, before you try it. That's why I have a drawer full of dried herbs. What? Stomach ache. Oh, you eat cramps? Yeah. Okay, so I got to tell you guys. So the <laughs> Christy, are you still there? Because this is a good story. If you're there, I'm going to direct it to you. Um, so... The other day, hi, okay, so this is, I don't know if I told you this already, but uh, I think it was the day after we went to the Taste, so Christy and I are both food writers, and we um, went to the Taste, which is was over at Paramount Studios, and it was just two full days of eating and a few cocktails, and so these guys invited me over the next day to eat, and so I couldn't get off my couch because I was not feeling too groovy, you know, inside my stomach, but not because of the food or from the eating or the drinking. And then so Susan was like, you must get some mint, mint, you have to have mint. And so she, <laughs> she didn't know, she thought, she didn't know that, um, well, no, I didn't know that mint was such a, um, how do you say, it? I'm leaving out the punchline because it's so not appropriate, I'm realizing right now, so I am now retracting everything I just said Tell us why mint is so good for cramps. <laughs> why is it so good? It's uh, anti-inflammatory. What? The anti anti <laughs> Yeah, it's an anti-inflammatory. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I got stuck in my teeth. My back home, we used to, if somebody sick, have a flu, flu or, uh, or has a a stomach ache, uh, like this kind of uh, sickness. It's not sickness. Usually, some sometimes happen. You and then put the dry mint or or fresh mint. Uh, just take like this. Put uh, boil the water like this. Put inside the water and then a slice of lemon mm -hmm. and then cover. Let stand five minutes. Drain it. And uh, drinking, it's very good and uh, gives you makes you feel make makes you feel better. These are also great, you guys, in mojitos, in cocktails, and you just like slap it, slap it like that, and it releases flavor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, this is done. <laughs> Test it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Test Seriously? It. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! You guys look. 
after all that talking and she, oh, it's so bright. You can't even, okay. This I'm definitely going to take a picture of you guys and then show you. I must taste. You must have a big taste. So healthy and yummy. Mmm. You can uh, leave it in the bowl or you can uh, mm. put, if you have a gas, you can put here. Did you put crushed peppers? No, I have, oh, crushed pepper, I have to put in the, on the eggplant. I'm like, it's, there's a flavor, some flavor. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. <gasps> Woo! Adam, you know there's mint growing right outside of your front door. <laughs> Where do you think we got this mint? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, oh, really. decoration, red, pepper, red pepper. Oh, that's interesting. Red okay. pepper along with the um, the um, the pomegranates. God, that's pretty. I gotta try this on a pita. Hi. Oosh. It almost it dropped. Okay. Oh my God. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. The pita chips are so thin. Yeah. Because this bread. Yeah. This kind of bread. Yeah. They're so this thin. One. This one. I yeah. like it because it's very thin. Wow. The other bread, mm -hmm. uh, pita bread, it's thick. I mean, this is really thin. This is, but yes. It's like so thin that the, the, the breaks. So. You have to buy and then you have to eat the same day or next day. Oh, wow. So delicious. Or you can put in the freezer when you need it. Yeah. You take off from the freezer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that looks so beautiful. Salt was okay. Yeah, salt is good. Um. I love her, the serving dishes. You know, you guys all know, I like, I love things that pop and have some bling and really showcase the food. And these silver platters, I have to get some of these. <laughs> this one from Lebanon, I put it, but they oh. sell When are you going back to Lebanon? Not now. Oh. I'm gonna have to put in an order. Okay. For some, some fancy dishware. Mm. Just red garnish. Oh my gosh, one little pop, one little pop of red. Look at yeah. that. You see it? You guys, look at how beautiful. I know, I wish that could. I wow. know, it's a uh, yogurt. It's white color, that's why wow. it's give uh, shiny. Yeah. It's lovely. Oh, yum. And, this and is uh, if you want more tea, the yogurt. You use uh, lapne, little bit lapne, little bit yogurt, mm -hmm. little bit lapne. I should have bought lapne. I should have. I should have bought lapne instead of the yogurt. Yogurt. It's a little more thick, you guys. Lapne is very similar to Greek yogurt, except it's more. It's more healthy. And oh, so like this is how I always explain it: like cream cheese to the Western people, to Western people, uh, lapne is cream cheese to um, Med Middle Eastern, no Mediterranean. Cream cheese, like you know how cream cheese to American people uh -huh. is so popular. Cream cheese is thick. Yes, Latin. Latin. Same thing for yes. you guys. Yes, but it's healthier. Latin made from the yogurt. You can do your home too. No way. It's the way it's been taken out of it. Oh yes, you put it in a cheese cloth. You can. Yes. There's water another goes, recipe! Water goes and then the tick means lapne. So the with the water <laughs> means yogurt. When water goes, mm -hmm. you have a lapne. You can buy big uh, big uh, bowl of the yogurt, mm -hmm. put in the uh, cloth or paper towel also you can put. Or paper oh. towel you can put here, uh -huh. you put here, and then put the yogurt, uh -huh. put in the fridge. Meanwhile, uh, come and take the water, throw away, and then until the water is drained, so you have a labni. And you can make the labni uh, as the appetizer, only labni. Just put the labni on the plate, 
And oh. then with the spoon, make a, a line and then put the olive oil mm -hmm. and then dry mint and red pepper or a fresh uh, mint. Okay, so this with is olive. This is my Lebanese cookbook right here. <laughs> okay, what now? How, tell me now. Uh, do you think it's done? I want to show you guys the um, the eggplant real quick that's been on the stove this whole time. It might not be all the way done, but at least, oh, see, you can see it. Boom, boom, yeah, boom. Bit. At least you can see the yeah. process. Yeah. When you uh, touch with this, uh -huh. if it's hot, means that side means uh, bake. More bake. Okay. But almost done. Okay. Almost done. Oh, we can turn this off. That's why it's hot. Okay. I know the oven's been on this whole time. Okay, so that's almost done. Yes, almost done. And when that is almost done, it's gonna look like what it looked like at the beginning, mm -hmm. the one that she already um, had put on the stove and showed you guys that was um, where she was peeling the skin off of it, right? Yes. Okay. So this is what. That. 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 These are our two delicious Mediterranean dishes. Baba Ganoush, which means big papa, no, a healthy papa, or a fancy papa. Healthy papa. Healthy papa. <laughs> <laughs> and um, jajik, which is a cucumber and yogurt and um, dried mint. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes. Do you love cooking? Oh, every day I'm cooking. She is cooking. This morning I was actually heading out to a meeting and her husband, Joseph, had this container. I said, where are you going? And he goes, I'm going to, I'm taking grandma to her, the, whatever class she was going to. And Susan had made an entire, it was a nine by 12 baking dish filled with a uh, jello, but it was like an Asian jello. Mm -hmm. it makes, we should make that. We need to make, we'll make that one. Okay. It's like a fruit salad, but for middle, Mediterranean people. Half Mediterranean, yet, half Asian. Half Asian. But it's delicious. That's like, what do you call that? That's Everybody like fusion. fusion. Major fusion. I don't know why I'm doing that. Major fusion. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much, Susan. Welcome. For being here today and showing us. I hope it. you enjoy with us. Yes, I hope. Uh, you guys all enjoyed, yes? Yes? They're all saying, yeah. Um, again, we made baba ganoush and we made jaji. So welcome to this healthy, delicious, yummy Mediterranean cooking. We gotta do this again. Okay. We're gonna do this again because this woman has so many recipes, and I want to share with you guys as many of her recipes <laughs> as possible. Um, again, if you guys are not already subscribed, you can still watch and not subscribe. However, if you subscribe, you can chat with both of us um, during the show and leave comments, and then of course you can see and chat with everybody else in the chat box. So make sure to follow on all social media sites, you guys. My handle is at Kim Lang England. Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, Facebook is Eaten Asian. Subscribe to Nom. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Susan, thank you again so Welcome much. Welcome anytime. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday at 6.30. Thank you so much. Have a happy Tuesday. Happy eating. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.